update. Today we're going to go over some of the uh, scanning configurations for a Tech 36CL. The operating system for a 36CL is the same or very similar to both the uh, Bookeye scanners and the flatbed Tech 25s and 12 scanners. All right, let's first go with, uh, we'll just do all the headings here. We're gonna go scanner and nothing exciting there. The second pull down is transfer. So that implies once we scan something, we're gonna transfer the file to any of these locations. Um, most of these need configurations um, like the SMB share. We, I have um, a handful of them set up. Um, if we click save on here, it'll scan to, if this is a Windows machine, it'll save to the downloads folder. Under file format, um, we can save to JPEG, PDF, BMP, and TIFF. Those are the um, major ones. And then if we're, and we can compress those files. So we can save as a, J, a PDF with the JPEG compression, make them a little smaller. PDFA, we can check that if we would like. And that would tell us that um, it's a final version of a PDF file, a new format. All right, next is size. So we can rotate an image as we're scanning it, either 90, 180, or 270. We can mirror an image. So if we're scanning uh, something that's opaque, um, we can flip it over. Um, if there's a black border, say something has been scanned a hundred times and sometimes you get a black border around a document, well, this is smart enough to remove that. It does a pretty good job. And the same with punch hole. If it sees a punch hole, if you click that, it will remove that hole or that round circle, those three round circles on the left-hand side. And uh, color removal, I usually leave that as auto. And splitting image, these are for books. Um, for a White Tech 36 CL, which is a, a, um, a roll fit scanner, um, the only way you can split images would be uh, if you're doing newspapers or something flat. You could not do books. Um, splitting image is uh, you scan two pages and instead of making one output file out of it, it'll create two separate images. Okay, going up to format. Uh, format uh, use defaults to auto. A crop and de-skew is good, so if you load the, the document in crooked, it'll straighten it out for you automatically. Auto crop formats, you can see there's a, a bunch selected. I usually leave that to keep the actual size. And then here we've got uh, edges you can scan a little further out from what it, the scanner decides, that's the end of the document. And that's always handy for uh, archiving. Quality, we can scan either in 24-bit, 8-bit grayscale, binary, enhance halftone. DPI defaults to 300, you can change that to, uh, you can change that to all the way up to 9600. Scan mode, um, usually fast. If you have something that has um, a higher photo quality, uh, you go high quality. What it does, it scans a little slower and picks up more data. Stitching, I usually leave it as adaptive 2D, okay? And enhancement, I also, in this particular scanner, um, I leave that alone. Okay, and transport, we have three items here. Scan mode, so if we pick uh, direct or continuous, that means that's kind of like a batch scanning thing where you don't have to click scan all the time. You, you just feed paper, feed paper, feed paper until you get to the end of your job, and then you can uh, quit and then save at the end. Okay, that's it. Um, after the scan, we can change the brightness, contracts, contrast, and image sharp, sharpness. And uh, I usually leave this alone, the paper feed delay. 
And then we have some bigger buttons here, and these are all configurable too. Um, scan now, save. If we click that button, it'll again save to the downloads folder. Uh, once we scan something, uh, we can zoom in and check it out a little closer. And job mode, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, copy, it's a direct scan and save. And then we can create templates um, like a pre canned configuration that will help us um, scan everything the same way. Again, there's the rotation. All right, that's all there is to it.